This video is going to cover the basics of using the uh, tapered extrusion in Onshape. Um, so this is going to be a pretty short one here. Uh, so the idea is pretty much anytime you'd want to do something like a tapered extrusion, um, that being where instead of extruding at, at the exact same size the whole way up, it's getting either smaller or bigger. Um, you're going to have to start with some sort of a sketch. It doesn't really matter what that sketch is. Um, we could make a, I don't know, why not? Let's make a hexagon of some sort. Um, obviously in real life, you'd want to put some constraints on this, probably a size, um, but for this purpose, it really doesn't make too much difference. So you've got some sort of a sketch that you want to extrude. A tapered extrusion, also called a draft, um, a draft being probably the more technical term here for, for when an extrusion is tapered, is usually done because uh, it makes it easier for things to release from a mold. Uh, but of course, there's other reasons, you know, just because you'd want something that tapers exactly a certain degree, you might use that as well. But usually it's it's designed for molding and things like that. So it works pretty much the same way. You, you click on your extrude option here. You select whatever you want to extrude. You set your distance that you want to extrude. Um, all, all good so far. You can you, you can still have these options of adding and removing. Since this is my first sketch, I obviously want the new option. But, you know, adding or removing, if you're making holes or adding on to something new, are still options. Also, the draft is then where you'd want to set your draft angle. And so you can see here in this one, it is getting wider. And it's, it's getting wider by three degrees. Um, we can change it to make it narrower. Uh, we can change that degree amount. Um, if you change it too much, one thing you'll notice is that it'll hit a point where it's already down to nothing before it actually gets to your three inches, um, which is fine. If you know you just want a 45 degree slope and you don't care how far it goes, then that's an option. If you're using something that's going to be injection molded, somewhere in the two to three degree range is usually a pretty good place to start. That's just going to make sure that it's not perfectly vertical and that it actually, as it starts to slide out of a mold, it releases pretty nicely. Um, but there you've got a tapered extrusion, not super difficult. Um, and you can use that on, like I said, on added features as well um, or on, on removed features. So if I were to go and put uh, a circle in the middle for something, I could cut that out. You know, add change that to remove, it's going to go down. I can still set a draft angle, and you'll see when I switch direction, there it's getting smaller, there it's getting bigger. Um, I'd want that to get smaller. Again, if I want it to release from a mold of some sort, I usually want it to get smaller. Um, now, there's other situations where you'd probably want it to get bigger, but in this case, you know, it makes most sense that that hole is going to get smaller as it goes down. And there you go. Um, that's pretty much all you've got for the the tapered extrusion, or a better, probably a better name for it would be the draft option on the extrude feature in Onshape.